power supplies and voltage regulators. Since tampering with power supplies in electronic circuits is potentially dangerous, I suppose I should provide a disclaimer. Do not rely on any of the information contained in this video. Please consult officially published sources. The following is a memorandum for myself. I am not an expert. This is a brief video which explores creating a voltage regulator circuit for use with a power supply. First, I will discuss power supplies, second, I will study a sample voltage regulator circuit I found someplace. Building your own voltage regulator circuit is probably a bad idea. Designing your own power supply is risky for many reasons. In short, faulty power supplies damage circuits. And, voltage regulator ICs are affordable and outweigh the benefits of designing your own. Nearly all circuits require a DC power supply. Ideally a DC power supply can sustain a fixed voltage and still supply enough current to drive a load. Electrochemical cells make awesome DC battery supplies, but their comparatively low current capacities can make them a poor choice when circuit loads require high current and or sustained use. This is why converting a 120V AC, 60Hz line into a usable DC voltage can be a necessity. I will discuss two common methods for converting household AC into usable DC. Traditionally the most popular method was to use a step-down transformer. The other method is a switch mode power supply. The use of a switch mode power supply has greatly become the most popular choice, in fact the choice. You may have noticed wall warts have become increasingly smaller and lighter in recent years. First, I'll discuss the step-down transformer method. The first step to converting AC line voltage into a usable DC voltage is to step down the AC voltage through the use of a transformer. Next, the transformed voltage is put through rectification using diodes. This rids the negative voltage as shown here graphically. Having removed the negative swings, a filter network is used to flatten the rectified signal. The goal is a nearly flat DC voltage. There is one issue present here, this supply is unregulated. So, if there are sudden surges within the input AC voltage, these surges will also occur at the supply's output. Use of unregulated power supplies can be damaging, especially to integrated circuits and sensitive components. Spikes in current can cause undesired behavior too, an example could be false triggering. Moreover, an unregulated power supply may also be challenged to supply constant voltage as load resistance changes. Swapping a highly resistive load with a lower resistance load will drop the unregulated output voltage being supplied. This is simple Ohm's law. Thankfully, there is a solution. A voltage regulator circuit can be used to regulate the supply voltage. A voltage regulator eliminates the current spikes and maintains a constant output voltage. An unregulated voltage supply becomes regulated. The way a voltage regulator is designed, it automatically adjusts the amount of current flowing through a load. The effect is to maintain a constant output voltage. It does this by comparing the DC output supply with reference voltage. This reference voltage can be fixed or programmed internally. A simple regulator consists of a sampling circuit, an error amplifier, a conduction element, and a voltage reference element. The regulator's sampling circuit detects the output voltage and feeds a voltage sample to the error amplifier. The reference voltage element uses a Zener diode to maintain a constant reference voltage which is used by the error amplifier. The error amplifier compares output sample voltage with the reference voltage and then creates an error voltage if there is a difference between the two. Then, the error amplifier's output is sent to the current control element which is a transistor. This transistor is used to control load current. Realistically, designing a circuit to regulate voltage is unnecessary. Voltage regulator ICs can be purchased affordably.